Hey guys, good morning and welcome back to another vlog. Today I'm just going to bring you guys along my day. I have some updates for you regarding things that I talked about in my last vlog like anxiety, updates on my surgery. I had a doctor's appointment last week and it was my six week post-op appointment. I'm also going to share with you some of my meals today that are keto slash low carb. Um, a lot of fun things. So I hope you guys are ready. I just had my morning coffee. I still have not parted ways with my International Delight coffee creamer. I'm just a lot better about having the proper serving amount to stay under my daily allotted carb count. Um, but I am going to do a couple things around the house. I need to take the trash out because it's trash day. And then I'm going to get my workout in and I will update you on the workouts that I've been doing. Spoiler alert, I absolutely love the Nordic Track treadmill. And I have been utilizing the iFit um, app on the treadmill and have been going along with jogs and hikes and all the pre-made workouts. And I freaking love love it if you have been in the market for a treadmill or you've been curious about one i cannot recommend nordic track um i have the 10i i can't remember i'll put it on the screen but it is fabulous and the ifit app on the treadmill is amazing as well i am so thrilled and so happy with it so i'm going to do that later and i'll probably do a class um or a video on the pilates class app which is another workout that i've been utilizing and i love that as well i just made my apple cider vinegar drink i have not missed a day i have really been enjoying taking this and then after that i'm going to take my probiotic this is the probiotic that i take the garden of life once daily women's enjoy that as well um, i just feel a lot better when i do both of these in the morning and i do them or take them before my workout so consume this take this and then get ready to work out Okay, so this is the Pilates class app. I just finished about 40 minutes on the treadmill and I don't wanna do anything too crazy today. I honestly just want a really good stretch. So I'm gonna do, this one's new. It is, is the stretch new and stretch and flexibility class. chill class. So this is what I'm gonna do. Let me pause her real quick. So this is a stretch. Hold on, there we go. Um, I'm gonna do this. Looks like it's an 18 minute class. Three minutes is probably just breathing, so it's probably a good 15 minute stretch. So I'm gonna do this, shower up, and then make some lunch. It is now lunchtime. It is 11.40, I'm gonna start cooking so I can eat at 12, but I'm having all seafood today, so cooking all really seafood. isn't gonna take, yes, all seafood. Um, it's not gonna take that long, so I am gonna make salmon for lunch. Now I picked up groceries yesterday and I got two pounds of wild caught salmon and then when i caught home mm -hmm. i divided it into it's probably like four to six mm -hmm. ounces probably about four ounces and i cut them into little mm -hmm. like salmon steaks and then i put them in individually wrapped bags so that when it's time to cook i can either grab one or grab however many i need for how many people i'm cooking for so for lunch i'm going to do a big salad it is going to be a spinach and kale mix with olive oil lemon probably a little bit of onion and some avocado. And then I'm just gonna bake my, or I'm gonna blacken my salmon. That's my favorite way to have it. And then this is my favorite seasoning. If I can get it to focus. It's the McCormick's Himalayan pink sea salt, black pepper and garlic. This is chunky, so it creates such a good crispy, outer layer and it just is so freaking good. So I'm doing salmon and a big salad for lunch and then for dinner tonight, we are gonna do salmon again with shrimp and I'm making the bang bang shrimp recipe from Defined Dish. We made the bang bang shrimp this weekend and you guys, it is so amazing. I'm gonna leave a link down below 
to the Define Dish website and the blog post where she made the Bang Bang Shrimp. And we're doing a broccoli slaw. So in the Bang Bang Shrimp recipe, she does have a slaw. Um, so I'm gonna use my broccoli slaw that I got and then make the dressing for the slaw with the recipe that she provided. So I'm super excited about that. I've been eating a lot of red meat over the past few days, so I wanna dial it back and have just seafood today. So that's what I'm having. I'm gonna go ahead and make everything and then I'll show you what it looks like once it's all done. Okay, so my salad base is actually going to be a little bit different today than just the kale and the spinach because I still have some of this Simple Truth Organics power greens to use up. So I'll probably use the rest of this as my salad today just so it doesn't waste. This is not my favorite. I won't be buying this again. And I've, this, there's one like kind of green in here that I just do not like. And I've had two cases with this specific green in it that I now know is just a no-go for me. And it's chard. I do not like chard. It is way too bitter for me. But the power greens is a mix of baby spinach, mizuna, chard and kale chard is a no-go for me but i don't want to waste it and i know it is a good green for you to have so i'm gonna just use this today just to get it out of the house i make really large salads it's really really good for you but it looks like a ton but when you chop it up it's really not that much. So I'm making my salad first, just so that the dressing and the olive oil and everything has time to soak in while I'm cooking my salmon. So I'm just gonna eyeball my olive oil. And this is the Central Market Extra Virgin Olive Oil. Next, I'm gonna use the juice of a whole lemon. And these are small lemons. They're not very big at all. It's starting to thunder outside this week. The weather is just not good. I'm gonna do a little bit of pink Himalayan sea salt. I'm gonna do some fresh peppercorn. I like a lot of pepper. I have half of a large avocado that I'm gonna use. Dang, it's raining so hard. Let me go hard. discard this. Woo, it is raining hard, isn't it? This is uh, some cozy movie weather. Nah. I know it doesn't flood in our house. Nah, it's not gonna flood. I just it only floods in Kingwood. It only floods in Kingwood. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. And then right. you're using that. You're using the cut with a, a kitchen knife at the avocado. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna that's push my good. avocado in here. Yeah, this is half of a large avocado. I don't feel like cutting up an onion, and I don't have a half-cut one already. Let me wash my hands. Um, so I'm not gonna do any onion today. I'm just gonna do this, and I'm gonna get my salad chopper the Trudeau stainless steel salad chopper. You can find it on Amazon. And I just start chopping up. If you make a lot of salads at home, you are gonna want the salad chopper. It is a must have for me. I don't like big old globs of lettuce. I like little chopped bite-sized pieces. It makes eating a salad for me way more enjoyable. And uh, yeah, I just like that it mixes everything up. Gotta get way deep down there because this is a thick salad. So as you can see, whenever you chop it up, like it looked like a ton to begin with, but once you get it all chopped up, it really just looks like a normal salad. But on clean keto or clean low carb, you want a lot of your diet to consist of greens. So this is my salad. I'm gonna let this sit and marinate. I'm gonna throw it in the fridge while I make the salmon. So these days I primarily cook all of our meat on my cast iron skillet. Um, I remember when I first started using a cast iron skillet, I didn't really understand how to use it and I felt like it was way too difficult, but I freaking love it. And it's the only thing I cook on now um, I'm gonna throw some olive oil in the pan. I do not measure out my olive oil. I just 
you know, use however much I think I need. I'm gonna season up my salmon. I feel like I should bring it on a little bit closer, but it's kind of hard. I don't feel like dirtying up a, a dish, so I'm just gonna season it on the little plastic bag that I had it in. Put a nice layer. And the bottom of the salmon does have the skin on it. I'm not gonna season the skin because I don't eat the skin. I don't know if other people eat the skin, but I do not. So I'm just gonna let my skillet heat up. And then I cook my salmon on medium high heat, five minutes with the fish side down. And then I flip it and cook the skin side for three to four minutes. So here's my salad, my salmon. It's got such a nice crust on it. It's gonna be so yummy. The salad is super light and fresh. And the salmon just like flakes right off the skin. So I am super, see, it just comes right off the skin. So I'm super excited to eat this. This is gonna be so hot, but I'm gonna dive in and I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit. All right, I want to talk to you guys about my recent doctor's appointment. There's clothes over here. There's empty mailing packaging over here because I've been getting um, a lot of stuff in the mail. But I had my six week checkup for my surgery on Thursday of last week. If you're like, what are you talking about? What surgery? I had to get a, um, what I thought was a precancerous mole removed. My last vlog has all the information um, if you missed that one. So I'll link that down below and here on the screen if you missed that. But I had my six week and y'all, I was so nervous to go. I was so nervous to go. And the reason why is because this appointment was going to make or break whether or not Kevin and I got to go on our vacation. So first of all, my doctor's office anxiety is already awful. I'm already super nervous every time I go to the doctor, but with wondering if we were gonna have to cancel this vacation that we booked or not, just set me over the edge to be completely transparent. My blood pressure was 150 over 90 and my heart rate was 134. And it was so bad, it was so bad, I was so embarrassed. I apologized to the doctors and they're like, you know, I told them that I was, you know, really anxious and why and all that. So she checked me and she gave me the clear to go on my trip. Now, I wanna say why I was nervous to go. It's because the surgical site is still not completely closed. It's still open. It's much smaller than it was before, but there still is an opening. But I obviously can't tell how deep or shallow the area was. And she said that it's still open by a millimeter, but it's shallow and I'm out of the woods for a bad infection. So she told me to go to my trip. I can get in the pool. I can get go to the beach, just enjoy myself and try to relax which is exactly what I needed. And I haven't said yet, but we're going to Jamaica. I'm so excited we're going to Montego Bay. I cannot wait. We leave this Friday. And I just, I really wanted us to be able to go on this trip because it's just like finally closing the door on this super terrible chapter that has been 2021 for me. You know, I just wanted something to look forward to, something to celebrate. And Kevin and I just really needed something to do and to look forward to and just to reconnect because you know when you're dealing with a lot of anxiety or a lot of medical stuff it just takes over your whole life and at least for me anyways so i'm so excited that we get to go we're going with three of our other couple friends um i actually have to go today and get the you know what test because they're still requiring those to travel so kevin and i are doing that today but everything over here in the corners is what I have been buying for the trip. I had 
you know, started purchasing things and ordering things before I actually knew if I could go. I was like hoping and trying to be positive that I could go, but I had also fully prepared myself or tried to as much as I could for her to tell me that I couldn't go. But I get to go. I'm so pumped. Just cannot wait to just relax and have a nice time. So I wanted to update you guys on that. My, this week my anxiety has been a little bit high. Just my mind just, you know, takes me to places that I don't want to go and I just really have to work very hard at pulling myself out of that. Um, I also want to note, you know, my blood pressure and my heart rate and stuff was super high at my doctor's appointment. It's not like that on a normal basis. Um, when I do have a doctor's appointment or something like that and my blood pressure does get that high, it takes a, it takes a while throughout the day for it to come back down because when I get myself that worked up, it, um, it just, it's so hard for me to get out of that funk. But I woke up the next morning and it was back down to like 112 over 74. So, and my heart rate returned back to its normal. Um, I'm usually like a high 70s resting heart rate. So, you know, I don't have a permanent issue. It's just, I completely panic when I go to the doctor or if I get nervous about a doctor's appointment and things like that, it's so bad. Um, I still have not made that appointment to that therapist. I really need to, but I'm going to wait until the kids start back at school. My kids go back to school August 10th because the rest of July we are slam packed. We've got multiple trips. We're going to Jamaica and then we're going to family lake house and then we're going to Tennessee. So I'm just going to wait until the kids get back in school and I can actually not worry about having to get a babysitter and all that. So, um, yeah, I wanted to update you guys on that. Um, I don't want to talk about this in every single video. So, um, unless you guys of course have any questions, if you have any questions for me, just leave them down below and, um, I'll be happy to answer them, but I definitely don't want to talk about this in every video because that's not what you guys come here for. So I figured I can share with you guys like what makeup I'm bringing on the trip. I did my makeup today and pretty much the makeup that I felt like I wanted to bring on the trip. I'm not going to be wearing makeup during the day. I'm just going to be wearing my sunscreen, but I wanted to bring makeup for at night when I'm wearing a cute little dress and we're doing dinner and we're watching a show and all that fun stuff. So I'll go ahead and grab the makeup that I'm going to bring and I'll share with you guys now. Okay. So I did pretty good at what I'm packing because I'm not bringing a ton of stuff because I'm not going to be wearing a ton of makeup while I'm there. But um, the primer that I'm gonna bring is the Benefit Professional. I'm gonna go to a super humid climate. And then the two base products that I'm gonna bring is the NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer. This is in the shade Medium One St. Moritz. I might wanna wear this during the day as my sunscreen, or I might just wear it at night. The other is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Foundation and Skin Care. And this is my tan shade in Medium Neutral 33. Um, I did forget for base, um, my super goop glow sunscreen. I love the glow screen. This is so good. I like this so much better than the original. Um, <clears throat> I had the original last summer. I got the glow screen this summer and I just prefer this one so much. My concealer, I'm bringing the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Concealer in the shade 4. Point, is this 2.5? I can never remember. 4.25, 4.75. I don't know. Georgia Armani Luminous Silk Concealer. There's so many shades. And then I have this little travel size of the Laura Mercier um, Translucent Loose Setting Powder. I'm bringing this to set my concealer. And then I'm bringing the Translucent Honey for my face. The only thing that I'm going ham on is bronzers. And that's just because I like to be super bronzy. And I'm planning to use these for eyeshadows as well. So I have the Dior Contour Palette the um, Charlotte Tilbury airbrush bronzer in medium, and then my Gucci bronzer. I love this so much. This is in the shade three, and this is a nice shimmer to it. For blush, I am bringing Fresco by Laura Mercier. Love this blush. The Charlotte Tilbury highlighter. This is the Hollywood Superstar Glow Highlighter. It's my absolute favorite. I didn't want to necessarily bring this one just because the packaging is large, but it's my favorite highlighter. To kind of just give me a finishing powder, I'm still obsessed with the Laura Mercier Candle Glow Powders. This is in the shade two, I think, yeah. 
the shade two. I use one when I'm fair and two when I'm tan. And then, oh, I am gonna use my bronzers for eyeshadow, but I'm also bringing this tiny little Natasha Denona mini nude palette. This will be a good little addition to bring. It's got nice little bronzy colors since I am going to the beach. And then brows, I'm bringing Urban Decay Brow Blade in Neutral Nana. I did pick another one of these up. Speaking of picking this up, I did film an Ulta haul. I went to Ulta and completely lost my mind in there. And that'll be my next video, so stay tuned for that. The Anastasia Claire Brow Gel. And then the Ilia Mascara. I still have not figured out which lippies I'm gonna bring. I always bring way too many lippies, but I'm gonna try to just bring one gloss, one lip liner, and one lipstick. So wish me luck on that. But that's all the makeup that I'm gonna bring on the trip. I did buy a lot of new dresses. I don't think I'm gonna try those on for you guys today because this video is already kind of long. But if you wanna see a vacation clothing haul, let me know. Maybe I can film that for my next video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos like this, if you enjoy seeing um, you know, what I'm eating and, you know, cooking and things like that. That was really fun. I really enjoyed doing that. So if you want to see more things like that, let me know. Um, I will have an Ulta haul next. That'll be my next video. And I also wanted to say there probably won't be any videos while I'm out of town. I thoroughly want to enjoy myself. I don't want to have to worry about uploading videos or anything like that. Um, and two, I don't know how the Wi-Fi is going to be while I'm at the resort. So there probably won't be any videos next week, but I will pick right back up when I get back. So leave any video requests you have for me down below and I'll see you guys again very soon. Bye.